My heart's pounding right out of my chest cavity, okay? That's it, that's fine. Every morning I go for a walk around my apartment complex, okay? I did that this morning, nothing's changed. But this morning, I saw an old woman walking towards me, okay? And she was small. She looked like she weighed the same amount as a cardboard cutout of herself, okay? Ow. But cardboard cutout grandma was holding on to King Kong, the dog, okay? A pit bull. Yeah, grandma and King Kong are walking towards me. I'm walking towards my inevitable death. I'm freaking out, okay? I don't know what to do. I don't want to make any sudden moves and cross the street. King Kong's not on a leash. No, grandma has a hold of the pit bull by the collar, okay? She's holding on to the collar with her sands of time hand that if he barked, it's going to dislocate her shoulder. I know for a fact. So one, I don't want grandma to dislocate her shoulder. Two, I don't want the dog coming after me, okay? I realize I'm in an odd situation. She's getting closer, I'm getting closer. I can't do nothing, so I try to run through all these scenarios of how to escape animal attacks. The only thing I can think of is to puff yourself up to look bigger. So I do that, okay? As I'm walking, I do this. But now I just look like a cardboard cutout myself, but I made my head too small. This dog was huge, okay? I know for a fact that that dog was a stand-in stunt double for King Kong, okay? When King Kong didn't want to beat up that big squid in the water, they're like bringing the dog. At this point, I may be about 50 feet away from Grandma and the end of me, okay? That's what I've decided to name the dog at this point. Grandma looks up, she sees me, she yells out to me, don't worry, he doesn't bark. <laughs> That's not what I'm worried about. <laughs> Not once was I concerned about his bark. <laughs> that don't ease my mind, Grandma. I was scared to begin with, okay? But now that Grandma felt the need to give me fair warning 50 feet away, now I have a feeling something's about to happen in 50 feet and that I'm not prepared for, okay? I could care less about Grandma at this point, okay? I'm looking at the dog. The dog's looking at me, he's foaming at the mouth. I don't, he either just brushed his teeth and didn't rinse or he can taste me already, okay? He can taste me from 20 feet away. So Grandma's getting closer, I'm getting closer to dying and Grandma, it feels the need to keep spouting things off to reassure me because obviously fear is showing on my face and body um grandma switches tactics at this point okay she yells out he's nice he won't bite you okay grandma i can see his teeth from here he's smiling at me i can't show fear at this point okay i can i was grandma's playing me at this point okay she's walking on the side of the sidewalk closest to the street leaving no room for me to walk on her side no forcing me to walk on Cujo's side. I'm maybe 15 feet away from the end of me, okay? Grandma has stopped reassuring me at this point, okay? She knows I'm a goner. I know I'm a goner. The dog's smiling. I'm five feet away, okay? Grandma, I could use some reassurance right now. Any last words? She did. Grandma had some last words, okay? Her last words to me were, you can pet him if you'd like. No, no, I know that's a trap, Grandma. Now is the moment of truth, okay? I have to pass the dog, but I'm still making direct eye contact because I can't break my focus. But I'm not actually looking at the dog, I'm looking through him, okay? I'm thinking, what's my mom gonna think, okay? Is my dad proud of me? What songs will they play at my funeral? I'm curious. I start to pass the dog, the dog starts growling at me, okay? Then grandma, with her sands of time hand on his collar, all she did was this. That's it. Grandma grunted underneath her breath and then tamed the beast. I could have done, I was grunting the whole way, grandma. Why didn't you tell me that was the key word? Oh, if I would have known, I would have grunted louder. Just grunt. I would have. I still am. I'm whimpering more, but I mean, <laughs> little old grandma tamed the beast with a grunt underneath her breath. Most well-behaved dog I've ever seen in my entire life. Most well-behaved grandma I've ever seen in my entire life. As I pass the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my life and the dog, I look back at it because I want to look back at grandma, okay? But grandma's not the one who looks back at me. No, it was the dog. The dog looked back at me and just like, uh, he winked. He winked at me like this. With both eyes. He winked with both eyes. He blinked. The dog was so well behaved. I'm pretty sure I could have stuck my entire hand inside the dog's mouth. As long as grandma was underneath her breath, low grunting, the dog wouldn't bite me, okay? <laughs> but the second grandma stops to take a breath to re-grunt, boom, like an alligator bite. Oh, grandma. Grandma, if you can tame that animal like that, I'm scared to see what your husband's doing at home. I bet you her husband had her children for her. Okay, all she had to do was, Grandma, you're powerful and you don't know it, okay? I bet she was a grandma in her past life too, okay? She never was a child or an adult. Straight grandma. Grandma to grandma to grandma. That was the three stages of her life and then she died. Reincarnated as a grandma. Wise beyond your years. That dog never stood a chance. <laughs>